All right, so doing kind of like a three video um, in memoriam. I mean, maybe I'll do more, I don't know. Three seems like one of those magical numbers, you know? One, why'd you only do one? I, mean, I guess one's fine. Two is kind of weird. I don't know. There's like a magic to odd numbers. So for now we're going with three. You know, I don't, I don't know. What am I, how? I don't know if people think I have like a mastermind plan. I think I do for some things, but for some things, some, some things like this, like I don't have a match in my plan. In fact, this is not at all the song I thought I was going to do. So the first song was Hope She'll Be Happier With Him from Soul Power, which is just my favorite performance by him of all time. Um, so you can check out my reaction to that. I'm Ellis, you could look that up. Or you could just not do that at all and just look up him playing it and just watch him play it. And then I just did a live version of, of uh, not just the two of us, that's this song. Um, I wrote down, dude, I'm like, I'm like losing my mind. Uh, Use Me. Use Me was the other song. The reason why I'm like laughing is because I didn't even write it down. Like I wrote down notes and I didn't even write that down. Uh, but Just the Two of Us was not the song I thought I was going to do. I thought I was going to do like, um, Lovely Day or uh, Ain't No Sunshine When She's Gone. You know what I'm saying? Like something like that. Um, but Just the Two of Us, for as cheesy and as stupid as it sounds, one, it's a song I've never heard him do live. So that's great for me. I get to do something new. And even though there's more than two of you out there, I hope, I hope there's more than two of you out there. To me, no matter what video we're, we do, it always seems like there's only two of us because there's the camera I stare at and there's me. Sometimes there's the three of us, sometimes the cat sneaks in. But whatever. I'm just talking, you know. You know what's funny? It's weird these videos serve like a weird purpose because I think a lot of people who show up, not the diehard people, but a lot of new people show up and they're like, dude, why are you talking? Just turn the video on. But if that's what I did, I just wouldn't make videos. Like, right now I'm having a conversation with you, even though it's one-sided. Um, so like I don't get to have. Like I'm not talking to anyone else today about Bill Withers. I didn't call up any of my buddies and have a conversation about Bill Withers. So like this is the conversation I didn't get to have with someone else. And we're having it. So it is what it is. If it's not your cup of tea, I ain't mad at you. I ain't mad at you. Let's see what's going on in the 1982 Grammys. 1982, what's going on in 1982? Uh, the Cold War, Reagan, I think a gas crisis and a recession. No, I was not alive, like, knowing all that shit. I mean, it's just like, you hear about it. Oh, and it's like a year after the miracle on ice, US beating Russia hockey. I, uh, I'm just gonna shut up, let's go. This song started with the two of us, uh, William Salter and myself, and when Grover Washington Jr. decided to record it, uh, he suggested that Bill Withers sing the song, and Bill came in and sang, and not only sang, but he changed some of the words around. And actually, just the two of us became the three of us, and this is the result. I see the crystal raindrops fall and the beauty of the world when the sun to make those rainbows in my mind when I think of you sometimes I want to spend some time with you just the two of us we can make it if we try just the two of us just the two of us, just the two of us, building castles in the sky, just the two of us, you and I. When he says castles in the sky, for some reason I always think of castles made of sand by Hendrix. Just such imagery. We look for love, no time for tears, wasted water's all it is, and it don't make no flowers grow. Good things might come to those who wait, not 
not for those who wait too late We gotta go for all we know Just the two of us We can make it if we try Just the two of us Two of us Just the two of us Building castles in the sky Just the two of us You and I That's very so sure. Wait, where did he... This song started. Oh, the guy. <laughs> People hacking the YouTube algorithm. Not only did he steal the video, which I'm glad he stole the video so we could watch it, but he's like, let me steal it and play it twice because maybe you'll just choose to watch it again and it's all about hacking the algorithm. You know how it is. Um, yeah, you know what? I'm going to talk for a second. Uh, cause I don't know, I don't know if I'm going to do another Bill Withers video. It's weird. I don't know why, I don't, I don't know what makes sense in my head. Like, I don't know why I'm like, oh, three videos is fine, but not four or something. Like, I don't know. I don't know why I make some of the decisions I do. And maybe you can relate to that. I don't, I don't, I don't know. Um... But I think some really crazy shit with the way the world is today uh, with, um, hear me out, hear me out. I'm going to start off sounding like just a complainer, grumpy dude, but I'll, I'll tie it up. Give me like 20 seconds. Um, with the rate of information coming in, right, and all the platforms, Facebook, you know, YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, right, and then of course the the whatever TV stations are left fighting for viewers. And then of course, Netflix, Hulu, Disney, just there's just tons of stuff coming in, which is awesome because we've got more selection than we've ever had at a cheaper price. In most cases, cheaper price. We get, we, we, we pay less to get more, which is great. Um, however, what is nuts is that when icons die, did they get like 24 hours? It's like Prince died. Yeah, yeah, you get a day. Michael Jackson died. You get a day. Bill Withers is dead. He's got a day. By tomorrow at like 5 p.m., um, we'll, it'll just be all, you know, coronavirus and bullshit politics and whatever. And it's like, it kind of puts your shit in perspective that like, damn, I didn't think many people were going to care when I die anyways. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, but to think like how iconic these people are and uh that it's just gonna you know you get 12 hours 24 hours maybe 36 if you're lucky and then you're just a headline that's gone and everyone's focused back on the next uh next thing let me try to put a happy bow on that happy bow is i guess don't don't expect like for 10 million people or 10,000 people or even 1,000 people to really give a shit when you're gone. I guess focus on living and focus on, uh, this sounds fucking cliche as fuck, but, uh, focus on making a difference. Even if that difference isn't just in your own life, but I would not, uh, put all my stock in the memories coming up. You know what I mean? Like, oh, people are going to remember me. Mm, not, mm, probably not. If they do, not for long, you know. Uh, it took a dark turn. Sorry, man. It's called honesty, dude. Um, I'm going to give you one example from my, my, own, my own life, and this is a silly, stupid example. I've lost many loved ones. Grandparents, um, you know, like great aunts and things like that. Lots of people, uh, friends. Uh, but I'm gonna take a sillier example, but one I think that resonates with me. So I had this cat growing up who, when she would meow, she would like never actually meow. She'd be like, Mah. she would always do like that. Mah. And I was like, when she was a little kitten, I was like, you're just squeaking. You'll grow into a cat one day. 
And over just weeks and weeks, it was always like, and I was like, is that all you can do? You just squeak? And so I called her Squeaker. Her name was Squeaker because whenever she meowed, it was basically like a little cat squeak. And this is during my teenage years, all of the things that come along with that, you know, middle school, high school, relationships, you know what I'm saying? Like ups and downs and just this thing. And uh, many times like I would be in my bedroom and I'd have the cat with me and I'd be like, bro, it's just like, it's just us. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just us. You know, like you don't give a shit about what's going on. I don't care either. Like, let's just sit here. And then I went off to college and uh, I, you know, I came back and visited decently frequently, but I didn't have a lot of money, so I couldn't like always come back, you know? So like a few times a year, four or five times a year, uh, which is a lot, you know what I'm saying? Like some people only go, go back home once a year. Um, and then like the pressure of school, like I just started going back less and less, like three times a year, twice a year. Uh, and then my mom called me and told me that she died. And it was like this giant long run where we had been there for each other, but I guess at the end I wasn't there for her, for my cat. And how, I t how am I tying this all in a bow with only having a 24 hour news cycle? Because I have a new cat. And my new cat has been around for like 10 years. And I don't think about my old cat that much. <clears throat> Shit moves on, man. <laughs>